I apologize in advance for the ads that you're going to see on the bottom right side of the screen. I have to get a new version of Adblocker, so until then, just please be patient uh, with me. I promise I'm not sponsored or anything like that. But today, we're talking and focusing specifically on the best teams for both of the Part 2 LRs. I was going to separate this into two different videos, but I figured I might as well just again, not waste your time and put them both into this one. And it works well because their team is very similar. If not, you can run them on the same team. And actually for this video, I actually, like I do have them on the same team and you know, you'll see how I have that team built out in just one second. But please keep in mind that since this is a best team video, you're going to need specific units to really make this team work. I will de definitely give you alternatives though. Um, because I understand not everyone has every single character I'm going to pull up here, which is again why I'm going to have alternatives in case you know you can swap a character in here or swap a character there to still keep the flow of the team alive, right? But again, um, this team I'm going to show you has a lot of strengths, and um, I'm not going to say it's impossible to kill um, because no team is impossible to kill. Um, but if it, you know, the way you know, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but of course, since we're so close to 60k, I um, I have to catch people. I like it's we're trying to hit 60k before the end of the anniversary. But I want to earn it. Don't just subscribe. Don't subscribe just yet. I'm going to give you a random color, and I want you to be honest with me about the first thing that pops into your mind. You see this little thing I have right up here? This is a picture of something that. I know for a fact you're going to think of when I give you this color. And if I guess it right, then you got caught lagging today. You got to drop down and give me 15 push-ups if you are already subscribed. Or, of course, if you're not, you got caught lagging today. You got to subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. However, however, if I don't guess it right, then you can skip. All right? Both subscriber challenges or the push-up challenge. I will catch you lacking in the next one. I'll give you a few seconds to ease your mind. All I'm going to give you is a, a random color, and I'm going to see if I can guess the first thing that comes to your mind. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. The color is pink. When I said pink, if the first thing you thought of was an elephant, you got caught lacking today. You got to subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. I'm telling you, and I knew it. I knew it. I knew. I'm telling I'm just too good. And of course, if you weren't thinking about that, then <laughs> apparently I'm not that good. And uh, you can skip. Let's, let's just move on with the video. Anyways, um, so when it comes to this team here, both of these units share quite a few different categories. But the main one that I want to talk about is Earthbred Fighters, okay? Earthbred Fighters is a really, really, really strong team. Um, and the amount of options you have is actually, it's, it's crazy how the options here are as good as they are. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and show you this Earthbred Fighters focus team that we're going to be running today to really utilize this entire team and these part two LRs as a whole. So for the leader of this team, I have the tech showdown for the world's strongest Goku here. Um, this is the leader of Earthbred bread fighters you also do have yamcha you can run yamcha as a diff like, like 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 an alternative right um or if you really want to you can run tech yajirobi as an alternative keep in mind that you know they do have their own 200 percent lead so you can run them on that team too but i think to really give them the best power and avail availability to power possible you want to go with the earth bread fighters leader in the tech goku what's also great about this tech goku is that if you if you're able to actually get his revive off the permanent guard the extra stats uh, like he's going to be a super strong character to have in any slot on this team he will be delegated to the third slot he's not going to be a main rotation a focused character but that's okay um because again like he he's not really supporting the team in the third slot but him having a high chance of nullifying is really really strong the guard is really really strong and having an option to revive on the rotation that you're on is of course just super op right like 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 on any rotation he's on to pop the revive like it's 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 great to have a unit on the team who can just revive um or has that option right so it just strengthens the team just by his presence and him being and of course to be a really 
strong third option slots and not get killed again is a, is a very valuable thing that any team can definitely benefit from so this is going to be your leader as well as the friend leader which takes care of two of our units and we only need five more units to finish this team the first rotation uh, first main rotation, like, so the first two characters you have in the first two slots, um, we're going to have Kai Goku linked up with either or of the 7th uh, year, sorry, 8th year anniversary of Lars. Uh, he shares the same exact links with uh, the GT boys as he does with the Z boys, okay? Um, so those are Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. What's great, I mean, they're not really sharing links, uh, sorry, they're not really sharing a lot of key from links, uh, but both of these units do a great job at getting their own key, so not really going to have too, too, too many issues there. And when you have the GT boys, the GT boys, I get, remember that Goku has a key bless nullification as well and is guarding for the first six turns. So for the first six turns, you can put him in slot one, literally allowing one of the strongest defensive units in the game just to stack, just to build up for the first six turns. And once Goku's uh, guard runs out, put the Z boys in the slot one and their defense is going to be near untouchable as you already know since you probably have this character. If you don't, then maybe run the GT boys. The GT boys, as you already know, once they build up that damage reduction, it's it's essentially over, right? Um, this unit is doing a lot of damage and is also extremely hard to kill. So again, you can use Goku to guard in the first slot for six turns while this unit is building up their damage reduction. And then, you know, swap the... Um, swap the, the the order of rotation whenever you feel like it's time for the gt boys to cook in slot one right another thing is that the z boys or actually kai goku is doing a really good job of covering the weakness of the z boys so let's say you're fight, fighting an str enemy then you can put the z boys in slot two let kai goku cook in slot one and then the gt boys can at least get more attacks off before they get hit right so keep that in mind i think for kai goku these two are definitely uh, going to be a really, really strong rotation. And of course, you can run um, other characters with them. Like, let's say Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is definitely an option. And so is Gohan, right? Like these two LRs down here, those are also options for you to run, especially the new EZ8 um, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Let me pull them up here real quick. Um, so they, again, sharing essentially the same exact four links. He is also orb changing. He's definitely a really powerful LR after EZ8. So there's another rotation option for you. And then Gohan, they're sharing five out of seven links. So again, a decently strong rotation here. They do have all in the family, which is a really strong defensive link, which is definitely going to help them look a lot better defensively. So just keep that in mind as another option for you. Now, when it comes to Gohan, as I already leaked it, uh, you know, accidentally, we have the rotation of the new LR Gohan. This is this. So this is your second main rotation. So, so far we have the leader and the friend. That's two units. We have one rotation of either these two or these two, which is going to equal four units in total, which means we need three more units on this team. So the next rotation I have here is going to be Gohan and Piccolo. I believe wholeheartedly that Piccolo is the only unit you really need to be running with this Gohan. Links do not look good. I, I can understand that, right? Gaze of Respect is actually a really good link, giving two key and 10% to stats. Um, so key-wise, we're looking pretty good. But what you need to understand is that Piccolo himself is so strong when there's a Gohan, a Kid Gohan on the team. But he's also supporting, right, when there's a Kid Gohan there. So giving all allies three key and 40% to defense. Three key and 40% to defense when Gohan is is on, on the turn. So what he's actually doing is Piccolo is supporting not only Gohan, but whoever's in the third slot as well. So if you have this guy in the third slot who's guarding in the third slot... Uh, and an extra three key and 40% defense for him. It's just, it's, it's, it's actually crazy how good this Piccolo is post ECA. But what's also really good is that when that kid Gohan is on your team, you're guarding all attacks as the first attacker and an extra 200, sorry, 100% defense. What's great is that this Gohan isn't necessarily the strongest slot one unit in the game. He's definitely not, but Piccolo certainly is really strong slot one unit and again these are all earth bread fighters here right so you put this guy in slot one let him cook and then let me see uh yeah so this is what i wanted to read here too when he gets his 18 key off he's also raising all allies attack by 30 percent for one turn so 
he's not really giving attack power from his uh, passive, but when this Gohan attacks, sorry, that's Yajirobe, when this Gohan attacks, uh, he's going to be hitting a lot harder and defending just a lot better, and going to be able to depend on Piccolo to guard in that first slot, just like he's doing in the actual art, right? Um, so there's like, again, another rotation of like units that are just really, really hard to kill. Also, you have the revive ability, um, with the GT voice as well. So any unit gets clapped on this rotation and you can just revive instantly, um, with the GT boys there. So again, it's, it's just a really, really strong unit, really, really strong rotations, a bunch of revives guard all over the place on this team. It's going to be hard to kill this team, right? Depending on obviously which event you actually fight in. Um, and those are essentially the main rotations. So you have two units here, two units here. That's four units, five and six for the leader and the friend leader, which means we only have one more option for a character or, uh, you know, to put on the team. And this is where I recommend running a certain support character or at least some support characters to fill in that void to make this team just that much more cohesive, right? So, for example, Taki Ajirobe is an amazing option. Keep in mind that this team, Goku also has the ability to, um, where is it? to survive KO attacks within once within a turn. You know how strong that is? You know who else has that? Tech Yajirobe. Imagine a rotation of Tech Yajirobe, once he's in the third slot, giving all allies two key and 50%, imagine giving two key and 50% support to this rotation here, where Goku can survive a KO attack and so can Yajirobe survive a KO. It's two characters in the turn can just survive KO attacks like that. That's, that's, you know how strong that is? Um, and then this guy, again, just like he, the HP regen, like this guy is a monster in the third slot. You need to have this guy as an option for, um, you know, like when you're actually like, you know, if you're running this team, this is that one support you really, really want on your team. Another option is the uh, path to power Goku. Again, Dragon Ball Saga and youth getting support isn't the craziest of all time since a lot of our units aren't really on that. I mean, you do have the Gohan here who's on youth, right? So you can get that out the way. Uh, but again, it's like not really the craziest support of all time. When this guy is on rotation with these two, it's going to be a crazy rotation for Gohan. Dude, Gohan is getting so much support from Piccolo and so much support um, from this Goku that it's, again, it's 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 really strong. Plus the orb changing, plus the damage reduction if you get a certain amount of orbs. So as a third slot option, this Goku is also a really great option. You also have Elor Bulma. Elor Bulma building up her damage reduction, also guarding in that seventh slot. And the two turn support is just so stupid, dude. Imagine walking into a turn, getting that support off and strengthening not only this rotation, but this rotation as well when it comes by. Again, just super, super, super strong. If you have LR Bulma, a great option to run for sure. Again, these are just all options because you can only run one of all these options that I'm actually showing you, right? So we have only one more support option left. I'm giving you options. You can run Yadrobe, you can run this Goku, you can run Bulma, or you can run this um, Goku as well. These are all Earth bred fighters. And Goku's giving all allies two key and 50% to stats. He also has damage reduction, so it's a decent third slot um, ability. He's also building up. And if he gets hit enough, you'll be able to see or foresee enemy super attacks, which late game could be very, very, very useful. So you have a lot of utility here within these supports that exists on the Earthbred Fighters team. This is a really, really, really strong category here. This is another really, really strong category that I personally will be running. And uh, I'm just excited to run this team, man. I, I don't unfortunately have this Goku or the Yamcha, but uh, a rotation of these two or these two, and then a rotation of these two with these supports crawling in and out of every rotation is gonna be extremely, extremely fun to run. So let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or anything let me know in the comments um again i i think that this team you know has if you're utilizing every aspect of these units it's going to be hard to kill dude so having two units that can just survive ko attacks is just so stupid and then this goku is also like this goku's healing when he's under a certain amount of hp and um surviving ko attacks the nullification it's just stupid man it's this team is so much defensive power so much guarding so much nullification so much counter so much it's just insane so let me know what you think hopefully enjoy i'll see you in the next one take care and peace